So pretty much it's the product tells us that we're gonna go ahead and app add F and G. Let's F and G. That something happens when we add these. When I'm sorry, when we derive these. We have to derive the front and derive the back. And then F and G are different functions. So just a little review about the product room. Okay. Any questions on that? Yeah. Okay. Um, so these aren't, aren't that bad. Uh, when they get kind of bad are when we're actually doing like the free response parts. But um, the implicit differentiation isn't bad itself. So you pretty much derive everything, every single little thing with respect to X. <laughs> So I'll give you guys a couple seconds to try it on your own and see how much you guys remember. We'll go ahead and begin. So if I derive every single part, right, this 5x is equal to every single part, right, 4y squared plus every single part, right, every little piece got derived with respect to x. If it just has an x, guys, it works just like how you've always known how to derive. So the derivative of 5x, hopefully you guys are familiar, that's just 5. And the derivative of x is just x over x, so all of this equals 1. So that's I'm just left with 5. When it has y, on the other hand, that's going to change some stuff because we only know how to derive with respect to x. So if it's another variable, that variable will go ahead and get attached right here. So we derive 4y squared. That's the uh, exponent we just do product rules so it's gonna be four times two right because the exponent dropped and y we subtract one so that's just stays as one and this right here will be dy dx oops sorry sir and last but not least um, derivative of constant is just zero, so plus zero. So our answer looks like it's going to be five equals eight y dy dx. The last thing we're going to go ahead and do is solve for dy dx. So to leave this by, by itself, it's the same thing as saying five over eight y equals dy dx. That's my solution, because all I had to do was divide by 8y. Any questions on that? This would be your solution. Any questions on that, guys? Here's where that cricket sound will come up. <clears throat> All righty. Let's go ahead and step it up a notch. So the next one's x, y cubed plus 3 equals 5x cubed. Yes, Kyla, it's, yeah, you derive everything and then you solve for dy dx. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's try the next one. So it says x, y, oops, x, y cubed plus three. You do the exact same thing, you derive everything with respect to x. 
but this one's a little tougher because of this product right here, this X, Y. So don't worry, we just did this not so long ago. We write it twice, right, as a sum, right, X, Y, where we're gonna derive the front and we're gonna derive the back. And then everything just stays the same. Uh, what is this? And then we derive the back, right? I'm sorry, the three. We shouldn't worry about that. And we derive 5x cubed. So I'll give you guys a head start so you guys can go ahead and start, and then we'll do it together. Okay, um, almost done. This dy dx is being multiplied by all of this, so I'm gonna get rid of it by division, 3xy squared, 3xy squared. So my answer should be the derivative dy dx is equal to x squared minus y cubed over the three x y squared. <laughs> this is our solution. Um, I just want to mention that dy dx, right, is the same thing as saying y prime. So, fun fact. In case you don't see it as dy dx, it's still the same thing as y prime. Any questions, guys? No simplifying the x and y? Um, they're being subtracted, Albert. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you no because of the subtraction. They're not being multiplied. If they were being multiplied for sure, you can go ahead and factor it out. Does that make sense? Because uh, these right here, this x, th this term right here does not have an x. Only this one does. Okay. Okay. Works. Um, anyone um, else? Any other questions, guys? So that's your final solution? Yes. Um, but assuming we're going to practice for free response, they'll probably tell you, they'll give you, given a x, y point, and then you put it in on the x's and y's, like to find the slope at a certain point. But as of right now, yes, this is the answer. Oh, okay. Um, if it yeah. were like a free response, like you said, uh, mm -hmm. would we have a calculator or no? Um, uh, honestly, you don't need a calculator for these, but and all questions are gonna be without a calculator. Like you don't need a calculator, it's calculator op optional. You don't like, uh, you don't have to simplify anything. Oh, okay. Right, yeah, so you, you could have left it like this. Okay. Any other questions, guys? No. Let's go ahead and try another one. So this, we go ahead and find our implicit differentiation, and then we substitute a point. So this is more like what you'll be asked. They'll tell you, hey, guys, here is this function find the derivative and sometimes you, I know some of you guys would like to solve for y and derive it first but you don't have to that's a that's the purpose of implicit differentiation so you derive it and then you substitute a point so I'll give it a couple seconds to derive
we derive everything with respect to x. So the first term is respect to x. So that's going to be basic um, product rule. So it's going to be 2 times the exponent comes to the front, right? So it's going to be 2 times 2 x to the first plus the derivative of the second term, y squared. Well, we derive it normally like we normally would. It's 2y to the first. But it will include a d over dx with whatever variable we just use. And hopefully, you're starting to remember that it's if it is a y, this will be a y. If it's a z, that will be a z and so forth. Equals uh, the derivative of 3, which is a constant, which would be 0. Okay, now I know a lot of us wanted to solve for um, this right here, this dy dx. But what I want to let you know is that you can substitute them. As soon as you derive, you can substitute the point. You don't have to solve for it, especially because they just want a, a solution. So it's going to be simplified. This is 4x uh, plus 2y dy dx equals 0. And I'm going to sub the point in negative one and one. Or you could solve for y, but if they're just asking you for the slope, it's, it's perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and substitute. It's gonna be four times the x value, which is a negative one, right? Negative one plus two times my y value, which is one. dy dx equals zero. So it gives me negative four plus two dy dx equals zero. So I'll have to solve for it. So that four, I'm gonna move it to the other side. I'm doing plus four, plus four. So I got two dy dx equals four. And I could solve for it, right? Not that bad. If I just divide by two, divide by two, divide by two. So my answer should be the slope of whatever this function was is 4 over 2, which is just 2. So like this is, this is going to be more common. They're going to ask you to find the derivative. Then they'll give you a point, and that's a slope. And there you have two options. This will help you find a tangent line. Tangent line, and hopefully this is more familiar. Um, when we took our exams, when we found the tangent line, that's really common, or find a normal line at that point. So that, that's why implicit is really good. And that's when you would go with y equals mx plus b, where this is your m, your slope. Hopefully that, that takes us back a little bit to some happy memories, right? <laughs> Any questions so far? I believe I only have one more example, guys. And that is chain rule, right? Don't you, you guys just love chain rule? No? Okay. Um, let's go ahead and try this one. This one looks a little tricky because hopefully you can see what I'm seeing. There's an exponent in the outside, which is a two. Um, and there's something on the inside right here. So um, go ahead and derive it. Okay. Okay. So hopefully the first thing you did was bring this Exponent to the front, right? So it should be 2, 4y cubed plus 3. And that exponent is subtracted 1, so it stays the same. Now, there is something here in the inside that we also have to derive. So we need to derive all that good stuff inside the inside. So it's going to be the derivative is going to be 4. And y cubed is the same thing as bringing that exponent to the front, so it's going to be y. Uh, minus one, so it's going to be y to the second. And the three itself um, is just a constant, so let's say that's zero. Okay, what am I missing now? Missing one tiny thing. This was a y, 
So whatever variable this has to be, this will be here, equals the derivative of the right-hand side. So derivative of x should just be one. Okay, so now we can go ahead and make stuff nicer. Um, you, should, you don't need to, honestly, since um, they will accept unsimplified answers, but this looks like it'll work. dy dx equals one. Okay. Uh, last but not least, we solve for this dy dx, right? So it's gonna be dy dx equals one divided by all this good stuff two for y cubed plus three to y squared. So that would be our solution. Um, I'm not going to simplify since the exam said that, hey, we don't want you to simplify. So that's perfectly fine with me. And if they were to give, in, give me a point, let's say, I don't know, an x, y point, and they told me, find the slope. The slope, all I have to do is substitute it in. So this one doesn't have an x, so this one would be a good example. But uh, it does have a Y, so we can still do it. Kind of. No, no, okay. <clears throat> okay, any questions, guys? So the hardest part here was um, this right here had an exponent. So very, very careful, guys, since it does a crowd chain rule. Oops, I messed up. So this will be our solution here. Any questions, guys? All right, can I move slides? Yeah, that's the last one. Um, so as promised, guys, um, so very similar to what we just did, um, there is uh, multiple choice. There is uh, five, I believe, or four. No, I think it's five. Uh, five multiple choices um, about implicit differentiation, and one of them is um, uh, at a point, and one of them will be about chain rule. Uh,